Hello, 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 and welcome to the PACT pod. Hey, Dom, how we doing, brother? Hey, good. How are you? How's it going, Eric? Hi. Hey, I'm doing well. I thankful for tech. We're thankful for all of our members of PACT and just uh, thankful for you all listening and, and chiming in live here. Um, I think it's time to kick into a little bit of our tech notes. What do you think? Sounds good. All right. Let's cue the tech note. Minutes. Hit the music. I tell you, that song, it makes me think like John Mellencamp's going to kick in, you know? <laughs> Little ditty. <laughs> All right, brother, what do you got? Let's kick it off. Tech notes. What okay. You got? I have something that was just thrown my way yesterday. It is mapchart.net. Mapchart.net. You can go in. They have preloaded maps. Let me pull up here and... You have world maps, Europe maps, Asia, the Americas, Africa, United States, more maps. It is free. So you can go into, they have gaming, um, Caribbean, Middle East. I had, da, 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 if I go back to Europe, I believe it is Europe, World War I, World War II maps, the European Union. So you pull up World War II. There we go. And you have what Europe looks like in World War II. You can color code. Whenever I talk about the Axis powers, I always use red. You click on the countries, and they line up however you want to um, use them, You know, however you want to color code them. So you can go into and label the countries, different colors. I always, when I do the allies, I do blue. I don't know why I go red and blue. But that is what I do. Um, go through and click on things and set them up. And you can download this. It comes down as a PNG file. So I like to call them the ping files. And push them out to um, any website, your LMS that you're using. Uh, push them out to the kids to have access to. So you can, and you go in and label. Show the country names at the click of a button. Put the borders background images, um, label things. So you could put, you know, access powers, if I can only spell while I'm access powers, allies, not allied, allies, you know, first world war, but you know, line them up yes, and, and when you kick out the PNG, so basically everything that's in the white is what's going to come out, not the stuff on the left. Is that correct? Right. This yep. map will download, and then you push it out to whatever you need. It'll save to your computer, then you have to upload it to wherever you want to upload it. But you can go through and label what you want. And if you go into, you know, the text colors has lines, symbols, more patterns, more colors. Hmm. So you can create different stuff. Um like I said, I haven't played with it that much. Uh, Joe Tebe, one of the social studies teachers I work with, found this and sent it my way. And I'm like, this is fantastic. I just I have to play with it more. Um, but I thought this would be great for the tech notes. And it's free. That's the most important thing. Um, oh, yeah. You know. So you go through. And then if you want to, when you're ready, like you can preview it. You know, it gives you. Download or right click, save image as, download the map to, you know, or come down here and, you know, just download it. That's so, so play with it. Um, if you're awesome. using it for science, social, technically anything you really want to look at, I want to go back to. Yeah. Um, I tell you, my brain off. jumps right away as you're, as you're scrolling there. My brain jumps to download that PNG, kick it over into Canva. Add a couple little animated kind of deals. Yeah. And then from there, you can kick it out to the socials, you know, and, or just even paste it into like a Google a Google site or, you know, whatever. So a slide. So, yeah, that, yeah. that's definitely good stuff. Put I like it. Google slide. If you're using it for, you know, literature, you want to talk about the, you know, the countries that where the stories take place or where the story takes place, 
pull it down science with different things going on. Um, it can be used in any subject. Yeah, I like it. Thank you, sir. I have to give a shout out where shout outs do. And I yeah, want to see www.mapchart.net. M A P C H A R T.net. Yes. Right. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. All right. I love and it. I'm... All right. Well, I'm going to kick it a little different here. So you're looking for some of those little activities you've been working, whether it's math. And my focus here is going to be math, but um, it does pull in science too um, for different reasons. But there is a f- unbelievably intelligent group of educators on Facebook. And they are working on creating pixel art. Now, pixel art, right? So I do a lot of trainings with Minecraft. I work with a lot of teachers. And one of the one of the initial activities we'll do is, you know, if I'm in, like, when we were in Nashville, um, you know, I'm, I was down, first time I was ever there, we're talking, like, hey, what are some of the famous areas? And there was uh, the Batman building, the old AT&T building down there. There was, um, uh, there's a music hall that's the, you know, looks like a, just a building on the outside when you go in. Where all the where the music's played, there's like a perfect uh, circle room, so the acoustics are unbelievable. And then I think there's a Promethean that's down there, so they would come up with these really like cool areas. And then they would pull it into, uh, you could go into a pixel generator to get that created and just Google that to be able to make it. Then they would use that and they would make the object in uh, Minecraft with the different shapes, but the blues here, the reds here. So that would be one of the activities we would do. Now. But this one is different than that. But teachers have come together to create pixel art mystery kind of things. And so you're working on a skill like, like greatest common factor, least common multiple. You're doing some different things with math facts. You just go into any one of these. So like uh, pick the, the, I'm going to go to the math and science one. And you go in, this woman runs it, and people are just posting things. And, you know, here's what it looks like. And, and when the kids put the answers in, the pictures are filling. And... So then down here, they show you what it would look like if they get it right. So this is a science one, right? They're pulling in different parts of the body systems. So the kids are answering questions, and if they get it right, it fills in. If they don't get it right, nothing fills in. So it's self-check. It, a lot of it is Google Sheets driven. Some of it's Excel driven. So you can kick those out through whatever your LMS is, make a copy for all your kids automatically, and they're all going through and doing these activities. So, you know, it, it's like anything, something that's really good. Like people will go and say, hey, I'm looking for this. And then so all right, here we go. Then they'll work on making it. Like, so it's not oh, even nice. that you, you know, you, you only go here that if you're good at it, people are just going on here looking for stuff. I've I have pulled so many things down. So you have a cornucopia pixel art template. You want the kids to play with that? Like, there is so much. So I have just a shared drive at school, and uh-huh. I'll just pull stuff down based on content we're covering. I just dump it in there. And then our math department has access to it. You just like you put the link in, you kick it out, make a copy for every kid. And again, it's self-checking. They're enjoying it. It's fun. And um, I'll tell you, there's one. I didn't pull it up here, and I will work on doing that briefly. Um, but there's one that a teacher made that I'm like, I don't know how. It, it, it's one I use at the beginning of the year. It's a hydro flask. And when the kids get the question right, a sticker that looks like a perfectly curved sticker on the hydro flask pops up. And it is like the neatest stinking picture I've ever seen. It's unbelievable. That's I don't cool. know the talent that it takes for that. So. So again, you know, that's just, that's that section. If I just go to the one for education, I'll click into this group real quick. And uh, just people are posting like, okay, so turkey tech structures, right? I like that the turkey's doing the old 2015 dab, kicking it like, uh, <laughs> yeah, all right, good stuff there. You got, so do, again, it, it's pulling pictures that the kids are interested in. You know, you don't tell them. Sometimes in the title will say, hey, here's what you're going to say. Sometimes you just don't tell them. So that's uh, Naruto, I guess that's anime stuff, right? Yeah. You know, but... um. As it's scrolling through, you got some different, you know, dragon tails, dinosaur stuff, like so all sorts of stuff being pulled in. I just think it it's super cool. It's teachers, you know, they they enjoy doing it. They're creating it. It's there for free. People are hopping on, pulling this stuff down. Um, just unbelievable. So yeah, so so pixel art. Just do a search on Facebook, and there might be other websites and groups that do it. But that's just where I go for that. Well, that's cool. We gotta try to find that other one with that hydro flask one. That's just a, a funky one to show. I'm gonna pull it up here. Give me a second. This is great, great, uh, great podcasting right here. Real nice and quiet. <laughs> Speaking of the chairs, it's it's the calm moments Calming. of the podcast. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? Let's, let's get that showing up properly. 
All right, give me one second. Stop that screen share. There we go. I mean, look at that that funky thing. Like, who makes pictures? Wow. Like that? Yeah. You know, I'm like, gosh, like, yeah, I couldn't even, you know, just and again, it goes in. They all kind of fit in. They all look really good. Uh, kids get fired up doing that. So it's definitely, definitely a pretty good one. So, you know, like I said, there's a lot of different, uh, different subjects, different things that are in there. And it's, you know, but again, like mapchart.net, it's free and teachers are just offering it. And if you're like, you know what, I really want to do this activity. I really like this picture. And there's teachers that are just geeking out, loving doing it. They'll just boom, boom, they'll crank it through and they'll make it for you. And, and, and then you have it. So high interest, you know, you can use it in station work because it's self-checking, Yeah. you know, and uh, yeah, just kind of working through the stuff. So, so there we go. So pixel art on Facebook. That's my uh, tech note of the day. Wow. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. So, all right. Well, you know, a lot of stuff talked about, a lot of stuff mentioned, and uh, I think we're at the end. Yeah, we're going to thank Trails, the people huh? that make this all possible. Besides our members, we do have a lot of sponsors that make these things happen for us. All right, let's keep the lights on. Here we go. Thank you. Good stuff. We truly, truly appreciate our uh, our corporate council members, our sponsors. I do believe we have a few coming online here soon, and yes. uh, they'll be added and updated once that comes in. And um, we're always looking to partner up with organizations that are like minded and uh, and really just want to help us do good for educators all across yeah. Pennsylvania and uh, the states and out of state. So definitely yeah. excited and, for that. Go from there. It's a uh, holiday season, so we'll wrap this up. Have a yep. great Thanksgiving. We will be back the third Thursday of December. Sir. Yes, sir. So, you know, another PACT pod uh, put in the can here. And I was to say, you know, the PACT pod, we are the voice of EdTech in Pennsylvania and beyond. All right. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you for joining. And if you're watching this you know, tape recorded, make sure you, you message it in. How about that one? Tape recorded? Yeah, you like that yes. one, buddy? Yeah, we're kicking it old school. So, all right. Well, thank you all for listening, and uh, you all have a wonderful and a happy Thanksgiving. Oh, you know, uh, just spend time with your family and enjoy. Yes. Just shut down, power down, and just, just recharge. All it's good turkey. At the beep, fast forward the film strip. There it is. All right. Take <laughs> care. Boom.